Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another edition of Children's Worship. We're so glad that you joined us today. We're going to get started by lighting our Christ candle. This reminds us of two things. One, God is always with us. And two, he calls us to be the light of the world. So we're going to get started today. As you remember, um, we have finished celebrating Christmas, and we're now in this church season called Epiphany a time where we are learning about Jesus as he gets into his ministry um, leading up to Lent and Easter. So today our story is a very kind of special one. We're going to learn about Jesus being baptized. Now some of you may remember or may have seen baptisms when we have done them in our church in our congregation. We usually baptize babies in our congregation. I want you to see how old Jesus is in today's story. I'm gonna, we're going to talk about it after. So this is the desert box. Inside it is a small piece of the desert. So many important things happen in the desert that we just have to have a small piece of it in our room. The desert is a strange and wild place. At night it is very cold, but in the day it is burning hot. There is almost no water at all. The desert is always changing. The wind comes, and as it blows, it shapes and molds. So the desert is never the same. John the Baptist lived in the desert. Near the Jordan River. The people of God came out to the desert to listen to John. John said to them, Get ready. God is sending someone special. The special Son of God is coming. But they did not know how to get ready. So John said, Change the way you live. Do the ten best ways to live, and I will baptize you with water. You will be clean and new again. And John took the people through the water. baptized them. Oops, John fell over. That happens sometimes in children's worship, doesn't it, kids? So John baptized each person one at a time by immersing them in water. Then one day, Jesus came to John and said, Baptize me too. So they went through the water, and John baptized Jesus. Then the heavens opened. And the Spirit of God came to Jesus, and the voice of God said, This is my Son, with whom I am well pleased. So I wonder how the people felt when John the Baptist told them that they needed to change the way they lived and get ready for the special Son of God. And I think in our story, it sort of says that the people weren't sure what John meant. And he told them, he said, we've got to live the 10 best ways, which if you remember what those are, they're loving God and loving people, right? And being kind to people. And being baptized was 
a way to show that you were ready to live your life rightly and um, in in a way that would please would, would be kind and would please God. It was sometimes people literally um, viewed it as starting over and and of cleansing and of, of coming back out of the water and having a new way of life. Um, one of the things that's different with how this was done at the time, John the Baptist literally took people into the water and fully dunked them under. So they were in a in a river, Jordan River, which would have been something like they were all almost going swimming. We don't do that in our sanctuary. If you've seen people get baptized, we take a little bit of, Pastor Brian has a, a beautiful bowl that holds water and he'll pour water in and he puts water on people's heads. Most of the time we baptize babies, very small children. In, in this time, Jesus wasn't a child in this picture, right? He's a grown up, he was a full, grown-up man and um, after Jesus was baptized this symbolized or began his ministry in in the Bible right after he got baptized it said and then Jesus began his ministry so it was a really important um, event in the Bible the other thing that that happened right after Jesus was baptized the heavens opened up and the voice of God came in and, and Jesus heard God say you are my son with whom I'm well pleased. Have you ever had that feeling where you're a grown up or your your family says to you, I'm really pleased with what you've done. It's such a good feeling, isn't it? And it doesn't matter how old we get. Even today, when my mom tells me that I've done something that pleases her, it's a good feeling. So I think Jesus felt really amazing to hear the voice of God come down and, um, and experience that that moment. So your craft or your picture for today kind of captures that moment and it's a coloring page that has a Bible verse on it. So this is, it says, you are my beloved son with whom I am well pleased. So that's from Mark chapter 1 uh, verse 11 and this is a picture of the river and Jesus being baptized and then the dove kind of just symbolizes um, God and the, the Holy Spirit sort of coming down um, and being with him. So I colored mine in kind of like a sunset-y picture color so everything wasn't blue. You can do whatever you want. If you want to color it that way you can or whatever you want to do. But this, I think, because it started Jesus's ministry, hearing those words helped give Jesus um, the confidence and the maybe I don't I guess we'll use confidence as the word just the, the push to then begin his ministry on earth so it was a really important day um, so we are going to do our closing prayer and um, you can join me when we sing the say the Lord's Prayer if you'd like dear Jesus thank you for all of the stories in the Bible that teach us about your life while you were here on earth and thank you for coming and teaching us all about God so that we can continue to learn and to follow his ways today and now we're going to pray the prayer that you taught us our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Thanks everyone, have a great week. We'll see you next time.